Honda Civic is more than 40 years old, most of its nine generations had some estate version, sometimes it was called the shuttle or the aero deck, however since 2000 you could not get a Civic station wagon, while the European competition offered this body style. Now Honda claims its clients are moving from their Accords into Civics and they want a bigger boot. Now the Civic hatch has a pretty big boot, one of the biggest in the segment, but this thing, it obliterates the competition. This is 624 liters, including a 117 liter storage under the boot floor. To put it into perspective, the current leader, Volkswagen Golf variant, has 605 and uh, Toyota Auris TS has 530 liters. In the boot itself, there are some clever touches like a place to stow the cover when it's not needed. There's also an optional space arrangement system. These aluminium dividers keep your stuff in one place. The rear seats fold flat, but if you need to carry something tall, you can also fold them like that. In the back, three adults fit easily abreast. The floor is almost flat. There is sufficient headroom, it's great. With the introduction of the Tourer, Honda updated the interior slightly. Now this update is uh, four piano black pieces and some white stitching on the steering wheel and on this cushion here. Now I like the cushion because uh, I'm not hitting my knee on the hard plastic. However, stitching on this uh, on this cushion, I'm afraid that in the summer when I'm wearing shorts, I might uh, get some scratches on my uh, on my knee. And uh, women when they're wearing stockings, they might also tear these stockings on these stitches here. So if you had problems like that, let me know in the comments below. Headroom in the back is pretty decent, but in the front, this is it. Uh, I'm 175 centimeters tall and, uh, well, you know, it's just about right. If you're taller, you may feel a bit claustrophobic and this is the lowest seat position. There's a place for water bottles in the door bins, cup holders in the middle, huge storage space under the armrest and a pretty big glove box. Otherwise, it's the Space Age dashboard we know from the previous generation Civic. Now, this time, Honda moved the start button on the right side of the steering column. Now, we don't have the uh, start button here. I have a normal key, but in the old Civic, you would have the key and the start button. And uh, that was a bit weird. And you had to put the key here and press the button there. Now, on the left side, there is Econ button. And we'll talk about this Econ button when we get out on the road. Under the bonnet uh, we have either a petrol engine 1.8, 142 horsepower, that's a well-known engine, uh, or a relatively new 1.6 diesel, 120 horsepower. In case of the petrol engine you have to rev it hard to get anything out of it. Now, I don't mind revving the engine high, it reminds me of the old Honda Civics. Uh, I had several of these in my family, so I have a soft spot for this car. The gearbox has a short throw, uh, the shifts are very precise and also the steering is very precise indeed. Now this reminds me of the first Civic I drove some 20 years ago. You have to be careful not to hit the curb, that's how precise it is. But uh, once you get used to it and you switch to another car, you'll miss this precision. Civic Tourer with standard suspension does roll a bit in the corners, but you know, you'd expect it to. It's, uh, it's a station wagon, it's an estate, uh, but it's still better than most of its uh, competitors. And you can also order it with optional adaptive dumpers, uh, which improve the handling when the car is heavily loaded. Now, but even with the standard suspension, uh, it absorbs all the bumps really nicely, so um, it's a good car to drive. You can specify the Civic with a whole array of three and four letter safety systems, but these will bump the price up from the base 21,000 euros to well above 30 grand. This mid-spec model costs about uh, 25,000 euros. Two more things worth mentioning about this car. The visibility for an estate, it's brilliant. And also the brakes 
are brilliant, good stopping power. I mentioned the eco button, which is located here on the left, where the start button used to be located in the previous Civic. Now, when I push this button, half of the horses under the bonnet, they just go to sleep. Uh, the eco nanny comes on and it tells me to uh, put the car in sixth gear when I'm driving 45 kilometers per hour. This may make sense in countries uh, that are more law-abiding. There are plenty of uh, speed cameras and so on. So you keep driving 50 kilometers per hour in sixth gear. However, in Poland, we like to drive a bit more dynamically. So I prefer to have this thing off. Anyway, I didn't notice much of a difference in terms of fuel consumption. Uh, with the Eco Nani on or off, the car will use about 8 liters per 100 kilometers uh, in the urban cycle, which is what Honda promises. So like the Honda for build quality, nothing rattles, nothing squeaks. I get the impression the tour will survive many family adventures. Now the whole car looks, hmm, some may say controversial, but let's just be blunt. It looks like a hearse and a hearse with huge gaps here next to the tailgate. And these gaps, they will fit children fingers and uh, oh, this spells trouble. Now, compared to the competition, the Civic Tourer is engaging to drive, even if the engines lack a bit power. However, at this price point, there is a lot to choose from. And speaking of choosing, check out my other videos, my other reviews. There are plenty of new cars. Maybe you'll find something right for you. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel to be up to date with everything that's new on the car market. Just click here. Thanks for watching.